Tarot 888, this message is for Pisces. Now you can have Pisces anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rise, and Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Pisces, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. All right, Pisces, as I try to shuffle during this intro, and by the way, you're entering Libra season, confusing the fuck out of people. Oh my God, and I keep hearing, you're nobody's fool, baby. Put it in the comments. I'm nobody's fool. And look, I couldn't even shuffle. I, I, and it, look, and this is, this is how they're feeling. They wanted you in this energy. And you might have been in there for a little bit, Pisces. But look, some of you guys played the fool is what I'm hearing. You played it pretty good. And look, I have the page of pinnacles over here. Y'all might have been playing the fool, but I'm hearing somebody. It's all, all up in their head, not understanding. How is it that you let them go? Pisces, you let somebody go. And I'm hearing your ancestors like, déjalo ir, déjala ir, chinguen a su madre. Let them fuckers go is what I'm hearing in this translation, all right? But your ancestors are, are trying to show you as soon as you let this particular person or situation go, see, it's what's hidden. It will bring you freedom. That's what I'm hearing, freedom. Freedom. Because some of y'all were dealing with a freaking liar. Oh. <laughs> y'all were dealing with somebody that just gave you false promises. I'm here. I hear your ancestors. Son mierdas. Caca. They're full of shit. That's what I keep hearing. Anyways, we don't want to promote nothing like that. But I just hear your ancestors want you to meditate. And be still. And I'm hearing Psalms 4. Verse 4 to 5. And I'm hearing God is always on time. So some, there's a message behind that Proverbs or Psalms. Some of you guys need to read Proverbs. You're going to get a lot of wisdom from there. But I'm hearing Psalms 4. Some of y'all could be born on the 4th. Yeah, they said Psalms 4. Verse 4 to 5. And they want you to meditate and be still on that. There's a special message. There's something you're going to get good out of it. Because I'm hearing God is always on time. So let go of your worries. Let go of your worries, baby. Look, this is the energy the universe wants you in. The nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Looking all sexy, looking all fine. Some of you guys are wearing some red dress. For my fellas, y'all got a fly-ass red suit or red shirt. But look, you're being guided. And look, the hawk is going to be significant. You see how you have a hold on it? Man or female, terror has no gender. But look, your ancestors are assuring you when you let this particular person go, because Pisces, I almost said Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Son of a bitch, excuse me, son of a gun. This particular person wanted to take your finances. Wanted to confuse you, but look, you have money just coming from every direction. You're very prosperous. And somebody's in fucking conflict. And for some of you guys, they wanted you to be all up in your head. That you couldn't, that you couldn't accomplish anything. They wanted you like this. But I'm hearing God is returning to sinner ten folds. And it's beating the fuck out of this particular person that betrayed you. And look, they're even, <laughs> the, God even sent the devil to fucking destroy them. Nine times, boy. And they're feeling it. They can't sleep. And you know what's killing them the most, Pisces? Is that they're watching you right here manifest everything. Everything. Just incredibly anything you want. But... You have to let go. 111 is going to be significant. You got to let go of your worries. No matter what difficulties you have in life, you have the 10, the will of fortune. This is what I'm hearing. It's no matter how or how hard your difficulties are in life or what life throws at you, you're always moving forward. You're always moving forward. And I'm here with faith. 
not by sight, with faith put in the comments. Because you know it's part of God's plan, baby. It's, this is you, look. And this, yeah, they want you to see you're manifesting. Baby, you're manifesting. Look at the wisdom you've gained. Yes, indeed. And look, the world right behind the will of fortune. It's like shit. As soon as you close this cycles in. Karmic cycles. And look, your ancestors are not cheering with you. Wow, look. One, one, one. One, one, one. Again. And this particular person, oh my God. From your past, the one you have to let go, the ones your ancestors, even God has been telling you to let go, but you have a little bit of a heart. You may love this person a little bit. And I'm talking to a Pisces that knows their spiritual journey, what it's all about. You still have a little compassion for this particular person. And they're on their knees. Look at all the burdens, the karma they racked up, hurting you. Shit. You still have a little bit of love and compassion, but you are a freaking warrior. I don't know who I'm talking to, but baby, put in the comments if this is you. You're a spiritual gangster, this warrior. And this particular person is all up in their head because they see you this freaking strong, going after what you want. This is the king of wants. Now, Tara has no gender, so it could be a king or queen. You might be just in your basket of energy. Look, look, look. You know it's part of God's plan, baby. Put it in the comments. And for a lot of you guys, your path is unique. Now, I see the Ten of Wands. It's so freaking unique that, look, this card right here, to me, what it represents it's not that you're just tired. It's that you're, you're, you're still. It's like you meditating, being still. And you could be hurt. You could be just it's exhausted. But you're always, what? Waiting on God. And there's a compass right here to tell you which way to move. This is you, baby. Ooh, ooh. You have a unique path. And I'm here, Joshua 1, verse 9. And it's saying to be strong and this represents you being strong as fuck. I don't know, but ooh, Lord, you called judgment or ju God called judgment on this particular person and pushed you where in a different direction. So some of you guys were feeling this rejection and this abandonment like, oh, my God, they don't love me no more. But it wasn't that. It wasn't that. God wanted you to weigh and, and he guided you through these difficulties. For some of you guys, God was always with you this whole time. You might have not felt it, but he was in front of you. He was beside you. He was behind you, guiding you, and he was within you. He was within you. Your ancestors are loud and clear like, yes. And for a lot of you guys, your ancestors, if you're holding on to a person that you don't want to let go and you don't want to move forward, it's almost like for some Pisces, it's what I'm hearing from your ancestors. You're trying to bring somebody that can't come with you. And as much as you've tried and tried, this particular person, you didn't understand why they were betraying you. And they pushed you and pushed you, your ancestors. Even God pushed you out the way. Like, get your ass out there. You may be dealing with the cancer or this is you just, it's God pushing you. Whether you like it or not, look, the horses are fighting to move forward. The universe is whooping that ass on them horses and they got to move. They got to push you in the direction you need to go. And your ancestor says, let them lose you because you were dealing with a narcissistic person that just wanted control. I'm hearing, God, God, they were just full of shit. I don't know. You know, that mierdas. And this is coming from your ancestors. If they betrayed you, they said, don't write them. If they betrayed you, don't even call them. Don't talk to them. They want you to go zero contra contact. I said contract. It was like, fuck, cut that contract. So that means divorce. And when, some of you guys, even through a divorce process, you fucking didn't even speak to them. Because right? it said no contact. And I'm hearing God removed you for a reason. Pisces, you got to trust. Even when you don't understand, you're being asked to trust. Let's see. 
Because God is training you to master your emotions is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. When it comes to communicating, and look, the four of wands. This could be even with your family. The ones that betrayed you that you're not supposed to be talking to. It's like God is training you to master your emotions and to trust. And there's a period of time right now where you're in stagnation or you think you are or just in isolation. But it's because God is training you to what? To control your emotions. He's going to heal you. God is allowed. <laughs> Man, let's go. Let's go. Let's get into your reading. Because I've done a lot of channeling. Damn, some of you guys are going to receive these messages when you meditate. On Proverbs, on uh, Psalms 4, verse 4 and 5 is what I'm hearing. That's what you're going to get, those downloads. You see? You see the head right there? While you're swinging and st what? What? And the hangman. And I'm, that's your Pisces. This is your card. Shit, you're enjoying yourself during this period of time. And you do, you have your full armor. 1111, as I said that. Let me guys are seeing 1111. Pisces, I want a freaking drink. Some of you guys are having drinks over this situation. Oh, yes. Look at this. It could be all up in your head. Let's see. Hold on. You want me to switch to this. Pisces. This card came out. It says Pisces. Pisces, this is fucking crazy, man. You came out right there. I'm hearing you're nobody's fool, baby. Pisces, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Help my channel grow. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or something happened in Aquarius season. And let's see what this card says. It says, the world is yours. Hmm. And you remember the beginning of the reading? Maybe you need to rewind. It said, letting them go will bring you freedom. And the world is yours. Pisces. It's up to you. You're going to know when you're dealing with third-party energy. And that's why I'm hearing God is training you to what? Control your emotions. They regret everything they did to you. So it could have to do with the third party energy. Not, I'm here not necessarily could have been a lover. This could have been a third party situation where a family member, a friend, a parent got involved in your situation. But even then, your person, your person should have used their discernment. To not allow the situation because they allowed it. It says right here they were getting everything they did. And Pisces, for a lot of you guys, through this process, because you felt like a fool at one point, is what I'm hearing. And this isolation, this rejection, this abandonment, if it came from a third party situation where it was family, where it was your family, I'm hearing you might have been through going through a divorce and your family cited on your person side and left you in rejection and abandonment your ancestors want you to know and so does God that God loves you put it in the comments God loves me you're overcoming what did I say you're overcoming rejection and abandonment while understanding how much God loves you put it in the comments baby and look at this look at this this is just no joke you guys know how I feel about my spiritual journey I love it and I encourage, and I'm always, God always tells me to encourage everybody about their spiritual journey. There's something about you loving your spiritual journey. Put it in the comments, baby. I love my freaking spiritual journey. Dude, it starts to break curses, generational curses, when you embrace this spiritual journey because it no longer affects you in that way than when you first started. When you speak it out to existence, some of you guys, you're like, fuck, I love my spiritual journey. You type it in the comments. You, you yell it outside. You say it underneath. You sing it in the car. And guess what? Nothing triggers you no more. Because you love what is happening for you, not to you, as they say. And, and 
things start to happen like your blessings start to unfold. When you love your journey, look, believe it or not, you inspire people. How? Who? By <laughs> when you start saying how much you love your spiritual journey. And your testimony is just powerful how you've overcame these things, especially if you had to deal with this third party situation and, it, and it's your family. For some of you guys, it could have been a secret love affair. Maybe you was in a secret love affair. And you said, you know what? I'm going to overcome this shit. I'm in a secret love affair because of rejection and abandonment. I didn't want to be alone. But I realized that God loves me and I don't need to be in a third party energy no more. I don't need that secret affair. I, I could tell the world how much I love God, the universe. So that could be the secret love affair is that now you, it could be a person from your past, but you switch in that secret love affair with who? With God is what I'm hearing. And I'm channeling this. I don't know whose energy I'm picking up, but your secret love affair is now God. And it's not a secret anymore because I'm hearing you're just wide open telling everybody and you're calling judgment and you're standing tall. You no longer have these burdens. And look, Pisces, I'm hearing they're mad because you don't give a fuck no more. Excuse my language. And it triggers them like crazy because some of you guys, y'all don't want this person back. They did too much. And you understand why God removed them from your life. You trust him. Even in your darkest time, as I cut this deck, look, you have your eyes barely open, but you, you, your crown chakra is getting the messages even in your darkest times, through your darkest fears. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. The number nine might be significant. You could be born on the ninth. And Pisces, Pisces, you begin to flow. Better female, the number 10. Did you see how we went from 9 to 10? You begin to flow like a fish, baby, like in the, in the river. And look, you're touching your heart. It's like, shit, I love myself. And I'm hearing you're healing with God. I'm getting this message about God allowed your ancestors to fight and block all magic sent to you and this is you trusting in your journey look at the compass it's like you're trusting in god's timing and now you're in full control of your emotions people see you and they want to come against you and they see the archangel michael's eyes or god's eyes that's protecting you and a lot of you pisces feel god's presence the number eight is going to be significant. A lot of you guys are life path number eight or born on the eighth. But look, you know that God is with you and you start to listen when you close. It's like you can feel God's presence. The number two is important. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but Pisces, you're in total control. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. So you may have somebody trying to whisper because I'm doing a lot of whispering. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my shot of tequila. Look, hold on. Your ancestor said, come on with it. Some of y'all have a grandma that loves to drink. Look, she has, I don't know. She, she's, she has your whole team drunk up there. Mm-hmm. My gosh, she has your whole team. And she's very happy. She likes to party. And a lot of the partying they're doing is because they're watching you overcome a lot of these challenges in Pisces for a lot of you guys that are in love with your spiritual journey it's like you're you're overcoming these situations these difficulties these curses with so much gratitude so much understanding and a lot of it has to do with you believing in yourself with you saying your affirmations I am fearless I am freedom, that nothing can block you, nothing can control you. And I'm hearing an affirmation, I am powerful. No one can stop me but God. And that's why you're moving forward. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck it says, it's, it says, it's good to feel good.
good. Put that in the comments, baby. Pisces. I see a lot of green. Your heart chakra is opening up again. Somebody wanted to block it with black magic. With magic, period. But no can do. Not at all. It says right here, some of you guys may be seeing feathers, okay? And it says, the universe powerfully responds the instant I regain, I realign with love, I mean. Didn't I just say that? Your heart chakra? Mm hmm And at the bottom of the deck right here, they want me to show you this one. Some of you guys have been seeing this cardinal out in the out and about. Constantly, you didn't realize that that's a spiritual um, message behind there. For some of you guys, that's an ancestor that's coming to visit you. It says, the universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately towards the highest good. Wow. You see that? You hear that? Look. All right. All right. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart. I'm being asked to give you your spiritual as fuck message. This could be for you or the cross watcher. And look, the first one that comes out, it says right here. This could be the day you stop doing that self-destructive thing you do. Uh-huh. Who needs to hear this? It says, what's the first thing you think of when you read that self-destructive thing you do? There it is. Now imagine what it would be like to stop doing that thing. Like right now, think of who you could ask for help because if you could have stopped on your own, you probably already would have. It says, now call that person and ask for help. You can even make up a safe word like bananas text because no one calls anyone anymore emoji because emojis are more effective than words so some of you guys have somebody that you might have put in no contact and they're desperately wanting to contact you they want your help but for a lot of you pisces you have already moved on and for some of you pisces there's something you're letting go and it's going to give you the freedom. You're going to find that help, whether it's somebody close to you. But I'm here in Pisces. It's you that's going to be helping the ones that tore you down. And you're going to be tested. But you're going to be ready. You're not going to be triggered no more. You're going to be healed. You're going to inspire many people. You're going to motivate a lot of people. And that is part of your purpose. Pisces, you may be stepping into your purpose. You are a super freaking healer. Put it in the comments. Pisces. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. Help my channel grow, baby. And comment if this is you. I see you so confident and so successful. Infinite Tarot 888.